Hey Vipers, so today we're gonna look at the staff a little bit more closely. Again, this is a review. You guys did this in elementary school, so this is easy peasy. We're just reminding you the things you already know. So this is our staff, okay? This is my staff, and it has lines and spaces on it. And you have a staff right here. I got my lines and my little spaces, right? So you can have a hand staff or you can do it on the, on the board or on paper or whatever you wanna do. So um, the way that we talk about the staff is we talk about lines and spaces and then we number them from the bottom to the top. So here's my lines, one, two, three, four, and five. So if I had a note that was here, it would be the first line. If it was up here, we'd talk about it being the fifth line. Spaces work the same way, one, two, three, and four. So just like your hand, you got five lines and four spaces. All right, so the way that you can tell if a note is on a line or a space is you look at the center of the note. On um, Earlier this week, we talked about quarter notes. And so if I were to draw a quarter note here, this would be on the first line because the center of the head, the note head, is in the center of the line. If I was here and I drew it in the space, this would be on the first space, okay? So now I'm gonna have you try, okay? So here, I'm gonna draw one here. Now I put my stem going down because when we get to the middle line, it just changes direction. So that's normal, not a big deal, okay? That, that's a normal thing. Um, so this is on the what? The third line. If I drew here, my stem's gonna go down. That would be the fourth space. So in your assignment that you're going to do, uh, you're going to literally write if it's on the four, like what number, line or space it's on. So this would be um, first line, first space, third line, fourth space. Does that make sense? So you're just putting the number on it and if it's a line or a space. Um, and if we were numbering, if we were trying to track how many were in a measure, just as review, if I had a bar line right here, and say I put another bar line right here, and I'm gonna add a couple other notes for fun, there and there, this would be one, two, and because I have a bar line, I have to start over again at one, one, two, three, four, in that measure, okay? so. Bar line, remember, is the lines in between, measures the space that go between the bar lines, and um, we number from the bottom to the top, and we start with one at the bottom, work our way up, and we also have a staff right here on our hand, right? One, two, three, four, five lines, one, two, three, four spaces, all right? Good luck on your assignment. Let us know if you have any questions.